Coach, an uh, opening statement about tonight's game? Well, I mean, I just said to our team, I felt like, you know, our fight was just terrific in the second half, particularly the last eight minutes. You know, we just uh, you know, never, gave up, never gave up. But at the same time, it's what you're supposed to do. Uh, we lost the game in the first half. I have no explanations for it. I wish I could say, hey, I, did, I had a bad feeling. We didn't practice well. You know, all those things. But we did. We did. We had two good practices. The guys seemed to be in the right frame of mind. Uh, and for whatever reason, we didn't have the energy and the enthusiasm that we had in the second half. And so, uh, you know, with all due respect, we lost a good team. You know, I'll tell you what, they, that kid Pruitt is uh, a runaway rookie of the year. Runaway. And our guy, I think, is the second guy, the best rookie in the league. But it's a distant second. So, he made away, scored nine points in a row in that one stretch. Or maybe missed the foul shot, so it was eight, but he was two. So, anyway, they made the plays when they had to, particularly the shots. But that's what they do. Three straight games against top three teams in the league. You've been in every one. How is it going? What's going to need to change next week in Baltimore to win one of these games? Yeah. Well, we just got to, you know, when you have your chances, you got to with the offensive end or defensive end, you got to, you got to, you got to make a winning play. You know, we talk about that all the time. Make winning plays when you have a chance. Make winning plays. It might be guarding your man. You know, like. Uh, Pruitt made the shots, but I thought he got, I don't, I don't know that he was defended as well as he could have been on those two shots. And, and, and so that's, there's a chance to, to help your team. And, uh, you know, but we just got to make, when you get a chance, make the make winning plays. Does the fact that they have multiple shooters, does, does that make it more difficult to, you know, to, to defend, you know, to, to be where you want to be on, on defense? Without a doubt. They are really, really, they're very, obviously, they really got a lot of firepower. They spread the floor really well. Uh, they got a star. They got a kid you can't guard. You literally got to hope he misses because you can't guard. You got you to try to keep him in front of you and hope he makes one of those tough shots you make all the time. And then the other guys make open shots. And the kid that doesn't shoot is a good 25. What's 20, 25? Is that? Yeah, he, he, he just does so many other things that he gets the shooters open too. So, and, and the key to their team is, is, is 22. He's key to their team. His touches and, and how he moves the ball around. He makes everybody around him better. You can talk about Thornton all you want and rookie of the year and the whole bit. Rusto was the key to their team, in my opinion. He does a great job. How difficult did it make things for you when Lusa fouls out with whatever what else, four or five? Well, I mean, we're just, you know, we've got seven guys that have been playing. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, really such a long room for error. And, you know, when anybody gets in foul trouble or fouls out or gets tired or, you know, whatever, we have. You know, we kind of got to throw a couple band-aids out there and hope it works out. I know it's in a lot. Two trades for him, really, the last couple of weeks, he's been on his best this season for Musa. Is that the type of game you want to see from him coming into the tournament? It, yeah, absolutely. And and I just told our guys, I mean, the, the end of the story is not finished being written. I mean, you know, we, we, you know, we got we got, a, we got senior day on Saturday. That's going to be a lot of fun. And you know, it looks like we're going to have to play in that 8-9 game now, which is, you know what, so be it. We'll do it. We'll go play in that game. And tell you what, the team that wins that game, you, know, you don't have an advantage if you get the Monday night because you're playing four, they're playing three. But the team that wins that game Friday, you have an advantage the next day. You got the you got the kinks out, you got the nervousness out, you got to, you got to win under your belt, and the team you're playing's got a not just a monkey but a gorilla on his back. So you know. A, a, a remark or two about just Zeke's performance tonight. Ah, man, I'll tell you what, that guy. Well, I'll tell you what, he gives us a chance every game, and you know when they were talking about. Uh, we had a chance in the, in the, in the, in the uh, what do you call it, the, the, the conferences, tele, the conference, or whatever you call it. We, we got a chance to talk about our players. And I'm a big believer in the guys that should get the award should be the guys that make their team win. Well, you know, we don't have a lot of wins, but that kid gives us a chance every doggone game. And, and, and if he's not a first team all conference guy, he's going to just miss. You know, I think four guys are obvious, like flat out obvious. And then I think there's a cluster of three, maybe three guys that you're going to have to. You know, toss the coins to you, that fifth guy's going to be. But, you know, he gives us a chance every time. He's, you know, boy, what a year. It's, it's, it's the greatest story of college basketball this year. One of the greatest. I mean, a little biased. Okay.